So looking at our build, we have our Corsair power supply installed right there underneath the shroud. We have one PCIe cable connected right here to our GPU. We have our main board power right there. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Corsair HX 1500i power supply. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this unit or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. This is a 1500 watt power supply with an 80 plus platinum rating. It's fully modular and comes with a 10 year warranty. This also features Corsair's zero RPM mode for the fan. So we have a nice chart down here with our noise levels, basically, under our power output, it doesn't start to make any noise until around, looks like maybe the 700 or so watt range, and then it goes up to around, looks like maybe 50 decibels or so, give or take at the max 1500 watt output. Now let's go ahead, let's open this up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our safety information, followed by a wide assortment of different cables. We have our zip ties and screws here, as well as the unit itself. Let's look at the different cable options we have. So first up, we have a USB type C cable to USB header for our motherboard. We have a really thick power cable, our main board cable right here. Check that out. Multiple CPU cables. We have three of them. Couple of legacy connectors as well. Two of those and two of our SATA connectors. And lastly, we have one, two, three, four, five, six PCIe cables right here. Now let's look at the unit up close. So we have a really large fan front and center with the Corsair logo and branding. Additional branding on both sides. They're identical to each other. Corsair HX1500i, as you can see. This side, we have additional product information and tech specs. This guy's heavy. We got a heavy duty unit right here. On the very back, pay attention to the silent mode operation sticker. So depending on the uh, load, the fan won't spin and that's normal. That's okay, don't worry. We have additional branding, toggle on and off switch, power connector right there. And let's look at it from this side. Check it out, so many different cable options right here. And we have our USB type C port for the IQ Corsair software. Look at all those connection options. We definitely have the juice with this unit. Now let's go ahead, let's get it installed. So here's the first computer I was able to get my hands on here in the studio and I gotta say this power supply is massively overkill for a 5600X and an RTX 3050 GPU, but I do have the power supply installed in here. Let's go ahead, let's look at it in more detail. So looking at our build, we have our Corsair power supply installed right there underneath the shroud. We have one PCIe cable connected right here to our GPU. We have our main board power right there. And then up in this corner, we have our CPU power. And down below, you may notice we actually have the USB cable connected too, so we can use the IQ software. Now let's go ahead, let's check that out on the computer. So you're looking at the IQ settings right here on our PC, and we have our power supply selected. We have three different options and settings we can choose from. So first up, we're looking at cooling. We have our fan RPMs in real time right here, zero. It's not even um, running right now. Our temperature is only 32 degrees Celsius. A lot of different power settings and readouts right here. We can select those and we can choose our monitoring intervals. Basically one minute up to one day. You can log everything here by toggling that on or off. Here's our efficiency settings. So around 78% efficiency right now just at idle. Really cool that we have access to all this right at our fingertips. Next up we have our alerts. So we could choose a temperature, I guess, and set an alert if we wanted right here. And then lastly, we have our device settings. So we have the option to choose between multi-rail and single rail operation. So you can toggle that back and forth, simple enough. And then down here at the very bottom, we have our alert setting. So choose what you want. What do you want to monitor to receive an alert? Set it right there. And it's that simple. So pretty neat that we do have 
some abilities directly with the IQ software and that USB connection. If you want to take advantage of that with this power supply to monitor, you can do that right here without having to use anything else, going to bio settings or things like that. It all can be done right here within their software. Hopefully in the future too, they can build that out in the future to give even more controls, features, and functionality. I personally am not the biggest fan of IQ software. Sorry, Corsair, it's just not my favorite software to use. I find it difficult, especially for RGB lights. For the power supply, it's actually a lot easier to navigate and use, but I will point out even during this filming, we've had some lagging with the software causing the mouse and cursor to freeze. And then every, you know, once in a while, it will then unfreeze itself. So not my favorite software, but it is nice with the power supply like this, that we have this feature and functionality built in if you want to take advantage of it, even with some of those hiccups. Time will tell to see how this power supply lasts long-term. It's definitely being underutilized in a build like this, but if you're getting ready for next-gen GPUs, they are very power hungry. If you want a 4080, 4090, things like that, you'll appreciate having the headroom in a power supply like this, especially if you're gonna be using, you know, DDR5, PCIe 5.0, M.2 drives, you're gonna want to use a more power full processor, maybe Intel 13th gen, things like that. You'll appreciate the headroom that a power supply like this gives you. And in regards to longevity, it's rated for 10 years with their warranty, so you can buy with confidence. Honestly, anything longer than that, you'll be upgrading your computer by then anyways, and this will already be outdated. So that's something you won't even have to worry about. Heaven forbid if you do, they'll have you covered within 10 years.